All right, Hunter is working on a very cool piece of turtle shell. Stick the camera down in there. It's a very cool piece. It's the very edge of the turtle shell there. Can't wait to see that come out. Meanwhile, my piece is getting weirder. Oh, wow. I had so working on getting that backside cleared and it's stabilized it's going to take me longer to get out of there than i thought Okay, we just started here for the day. I'm working on finishing pedestaling for the ilium, and then it will be jacketed and removed. Hunter just started working down here on the base layer and immediately started popping out some decent finds. You can see where these uh, two little pink markers are, like one right after another. He popped out this nice little vert. Looks like it is probably a distal caudal vert. Not sure of species. And then immediately after that, a small little limb bone. It is probably turtle. Looks like it's missing the very one end mostly complete so hopefully right down here on the bottom of this layer will be some some decent stuff ten seconds later the whole time all right there all over here and then just there's the tooth that's a, oh that's a nice God. one now hold on. Oh, Let, let's see the serrations on the back, or let's see the shape on the back of it. You just is it, found that is out? it Rex or is Come it? On. It just popped out. Uh, I have a feeling that's going to be Rex. Look at that thing. It's got some. Oh, and where was it? Right here. I was clearing all this stuff. Just go pop, and there it was. It, it looks broken off. No, it's uh, those well, are no, pre-depositional breaks. Look at that. You, you might. Oh, for God's sake. No, that might be fresh. I. You might wow. look at the ground and see that's it. That's a premax tooth, too. Right that's here. fantastic. I was just pop, and there it went. That's a premax. That's a front tooth. Yeah, with, the serrations with the serrations on, on the back ah, edge. You're on right. The, yeah, on the posterior edge. Yeah, I have one like that in my collection. That's a good one. I guess after the interesting part about it is if a T Rex is biting your hand off, that's the tooth that's smiling <gasps> at you as it's biting you. Oh, wow. a serrated like, edge? Like serrated yeah. edge. One. Yeah. Wow. One fossil find that didn't get recorded was a massive yet tiny tooth. While I was digging the pedestal of the Thessalosaur ilium, I popped out an ironstone concretion and this tooth popped out with it. This is a canine tooth from a small mammal called Didelphodon. These were similar to modern opossums. It's still under debate whether these were strictly a land animal or semi-aquatic similar to otters. For such a small species, this tooth would have come from a very large animal. The base of the root is still embedded in the matrix. This fossil has been donated for research, along with a didelphodon lower jaw, which was no longer than this individual tooth. Not really sure what we've uncovered here. Somebody broke the end off of this previously. Probably didn't realize it was a piece of bone. The, that in texture really doesn't have a typical cancellous bone texture to it. But after clearing that back, you can see that definitely has bone shape. And this is much too flat. And it's got a natural straight edge here, natural straight edge here. So this. It's definitely not just a rock. All right, we're gonna pop this out real quick. We're gonna hold this. OK. 
Okay, I don't see anything else behind it. Yep, that's bone. That is bone of whatever kind. Very, and that texture means that is probably looks trike. Like, looks like frill. Yep, it is probably a piece of frill. Nice chunk too. Yep. Back to the T-Rex Premax tooth, this is what it looked like fresh from the ground. It's in amazing condition with only a tiny bit of matrix remaining. It still needed some gentle prepping with micro air abrasion. Here is the clean tooth. There is no wax or consolidant on this. The shine is 100% natural. That flat spot on the tip is called a wear facet. This is caused by repeated rubbing on the lower tooth every time the Rex would close its mouth. Of course, the two jacketed fossils obviously needed a lot of prep. The prep work was done by Walter Stein at Paleo Adventures. This is the ilium as we last saw it, and this is it now. Here is the crocodile lower jaw before jacketing. This is it prepped out. The flat edge is the natural suture line between the halves of the lower jaw. That natural separation combined with so many missing teeth, show that this probably had an extended decomposition time before becoming buried and fossilized. 